Hey everybody, welcome to this mini course on blending modes. And in part one of this blending mode mini course, we're going to be discovering all of the most practical and useful blend modes for our next landscape edits. And I know that blending modes can seem really daunting at first. There's a lot of them in PhotoRAW, and if you've played with any of them, you know that some of them do wonky things to your photographs. Well, that's why we're breaking it down into the useful ones. So we have luminosity, overlay, screen, color, and multiply. And there's many other ones that you could use on your landscapes, but these are the ones that we're going to focus on primarily in this mini course. And to start, let's just talk about what blend modes do. So blending modes are basically modifiers that determine how two layers interact and blend with one another. So if we have a base image inside Photo Raw, and we have another layer, let's say filter, and we apply that filter on top of our base image, for example, the dynamic contrast filter. So we have our base image, and then we have some detail applied with another filter. Well, if we apply a blend mode to this dynamic contrast filter, it's going to alter the look of the entire photograph because it's determining how that filter blends with the base image. So throughout this mini course, we'll go over different blend modes and how they interact with different photographs inside Photo Raw. We'll go over practical ways to use them, when you can use blend modes on certain images, and why you should use them. And the first blend mode we're going to start off with in this series is one of my all-time favorites, and that's the luminosity blend mode. So the way that the luminosity blend mode works is similar to its name. So the luminosity blend mode is going to take your modifying layer, whether it's a filter, a local adjustment, or an actual image layer, and it's going to blend that in on the luminance of your base image. So by blending it strictly to the luminance of that image, let's say the contrast, the highlights, midtones, things like that, it's not going to alter the color saturation within your scene. So if you do bring in a lot of rich tonal contrast, it's not going to muddy up the color saturation or vibrance. This way you can protect all of the colors in your scene while still applying nice tonal contrast anywhere you want. So now we're inside On One Photo Raw 2020, and if the luminosity blend mode is still sounding confusing, no worries at all. We're going to be using it with this photograph, and I think once we apply it and play with it in Photo Raw, it'll be a lot easier to understand and visualize. So in Photo Raw, I have this photograph in the edit module. And in the develop tab, I'm just making sure that I haven't done anything to the photograph. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, all it's done is applied the lens correction to the drone photograph. So there's no alterations of the image at all, just the lens correction. So to demonstrate the luminosity blend mode, we're going to head into the effects tab here. I'm going to add a filter, and I'm going to add the curves filter. And the tone curve is one of my all-time favorite tools inside Photo Raw, especially with blending modes, because it gives me the option to modify all of the separate tones in my image, and I can even modify the tones of my red, green, and blue channels separately. So with this tone curve here, I'm just going to create a simple S-curve. So I'm going to head down to my shadow tones, and I'll pull down on them, and that's going to add in some contrast because it's darkening up the shadow tones in the photo. So I think that looks pretty good to add in some nice tonal contrast. And then to complete the S-curve, I'm going to go up to my mid-tone highlight range, and I'm just going to grab a point, and then I'll pull up on that a little bit. Nice. So now we have this nice S-curve. But if I turn this off and on here, you can see it's really richened up those colors, and it's pretty intense, especially on the buildings over here. It's making them really intensely blue, so we can fix that by using our luminosity blend mode. So if I head over to my tone curve, and I go into my blending options with this gear icon, I'll go down into my mode menu, and then I'll go down to luminosity and pay attention to the image right now. So this is at normal, and now watch as I hit luminosity. See how it applies all of that filter, all of that tone curve, strictly to the luminance values in the photograph. So now our colors are returned back to normal, and they look a lot more natural. So now let's go back to normal. And luminosity. So now if we do want to modify the colors, we have control of what the colors look like. We can always add another filter. We can add our color enhancer. And now we can enhance the saturation on our own terms. So 
So the luminosity blend mode is a phenomenal tool for when you're wanting whatever filter adjustment you have strictly applied to the luminance values. So if you want to protect your colors in your photograph, the luminosity blend mode is the way to go. Thanks for watching episode one of this blending modes mini course. Stay tuned for episode two where we go over the overlay blend mode. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to stay updated with all of On1's new videos.